Well, I want to do something on natural breast enlargement. And uh, first, I want to preface this with some common sense things because first off, you have to question, you know, why you'd want to do this. And I know it's just to grow a larger breast, obviously, but it's also, you know, if you're being judged upon the size of your breast, uh, that's a bad situation right there. Um, you know, it could be a nice thing to do, you know, a little bit more appearance, but it's like that is not really all the female appearance anyway. You know, I quite, that's my opinion on it anyway. I really can't stand people that get too plastic and into their appearance too much, but general health is actually something to be very much concentrated on because it actually brings about your not only your well-being, like physically, but also your well-being in mind and spirit and everything else, and you're just your general outlook. So sometimes breast enhancement, you know, things that bring about breast enhancement can actually bring about your general well-being. But um, I just also want to add a couple things before I get on to it because I, I know a lot of different things about health that are natural, inexpensive, and work very well. But um, I, I don't know if I'd be talking to the male or the female in this video, but for instance, if uh, somebody is interested in spending tens of thousands of dollars for breast enhancement on plastic surgery, I think that type of person should be avoided like the plague. They're a very plastic person and they're very much into money and they're not actually into health because you should just accentuate what you're naturally born with. I mean, I could see a plastic surgeon where a, person, a woman had a mastectomy on one of her breasts. Definitely want to have a plastic surgeon, but actually the mastectomy could have been avoided because there are numerous ways to cure cancer, numerous ways to get rid of tumors and cancer. And uh, I really can't stand the medical establishment, so I want to preface that with this, you know, some of these statements before I get into some of the simple things you could do for breast enhancement. Just make sure you're doing it more for the right reason because, um, you know, plastic appearance is not everything. And actually, if you have varicose veins and you have wrinkly elbows and you're, you're, you have lines around your eyes and everything like that, breasts will not help you. And actually, all those things could be addressed. Like I said, varicose veins, wrinkles on the elbows, lines around the eyes. It's general overall health. So even before I say this, I would like to say that, you know, one product I think for general overall health is Nature's Way of Life. I don't sell the product, but I've been taking it for years. It's a natural whole food vitamin. And I found the best price for it is on Amazon. It's less than half the retail price available on Amazon or maybe through a Google search you can find this product for less than half retail. That general overall health has a lot to do with breast enhancement and actually your collagen production. So uh, some of the things that specifically may help the size of breast and increase uh, female hormonal production is sesame seeds. Very inexpensive. You just pick them up in your supermarket, eat some sesame. There's no like set quantity just to make sure you're eating some on a consistent basis. But just like anything, you don't want to overdo anything. And I, and I think, you know, if I'm putting this out, you know, sesame seeds, since I'm talking like this is for women's uh, breast enhancement, if a male took some sesame seeds, it's not going to cause him to grow breast. I mean, it's not like that crazy. You know, it's just something to accentuate the normal female hormonal balance. It's not going to, um, you know, affect the male. So you know, sesame seeds are very helpful for both sexes. It's not um, something that should be avoided by males. So I don't want to actually say that. Flax seeds also is something very good for enhancing the breast. can actually affect the hormonal balance, increase estrogen, soy, another one. Black kohosh, co 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 which is a very good thing for women to take, especially for a menopausal women, can help with the hormonal balance. Fenogeek, another another um, herb that's good to take. Also licorice, licorice, black licorice. Now, you could take this as a supplement. You can also, um, you know, it's probably not good to take the candy, you know, licorice, the black licorice. But if you like it and you want to have some, I mean, anything in moderation, even some sugar isn't going to kill you. I know it's like, they say sugar is the worst thing. But say if you're going to have a sugary snack, black licorice, that can help too. And another one out there is not very well known. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. It's from like Thailand. It's very much for anti-aging though. Keeping the skin young besides breast enhancement is uh, Peraria. I spelt it here, 
Mirafika. I, I, Mirafika. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's from Thailand. It's not well known. It's a plant that only grows in Thailand. Uh, it's an anti-aging and also breast enhancement type pill. That's not well known. But uh, something like that you would definitely have to order. Like Black Cohosh, Veno Geek, you can find those in Walmart. You can find soy in Walmart. I'm not selling for Walmart, but flax seeds, sesame seeds, you can find them in any you know, Pathway for up north, one of those stores, or, uh, you know, um, Publix, or whatever the heck it is, you know, any of those types of stores, supermarkets, you can find most of these things, except for this last one on the list, you would actually have to order that off the internet, but breast enhancement should be looked upon as uh, doing it from overall health, because, well, first off, if somebody is that much into breast, um, that you just find themselves a pair of boobs and forget about the rest of the person. I mean, it's really stupid, I think about it. And uh, actually, you know, if, if a woman is that much into her appearance, where she has to spend thousands and thousands of dollars all the time on plastic surgery, um, that would be a person that should be avoided like the plague. Uh, it's really health and natural breast enhancement should be related to uh, overall health, overall health, and actually a lot of the things I mentioned here are good for women's overall health. Now, collagen production is extremely important too. That's another reason you'd want to take a lot of vitamin C. But you know, just to keep the complexity down, that product I recommended, Dangerous Way Alive, which has like CoQ10 in it, also essential oils, um, essential fatty acids, bioflavin blend, and all this type of stuff is one of the best things you could take because overall health has a lot to do with um, you know how a woman's appearance is going to be in general so um, I don't know in society there in, in Western society there's really like this big thing about breasts and all this kind of stuff but it's kind of stupid to tell you the truth I really look at that like I don't know I think it's I think it's asinine to tell you the truth it's really stupid but it's something a lot of people are concerned about and uh, rather than going any kind of like uh, surgical things and doing that type of stuff I think it's better to go from health and actually a woman's beauty which I don't think is the most important thing it's more like the overall positive attitude and general feeling is the most important thing can be vertly, vert, greatly enhanced by just concentrating on overall health because whatever it's not like physical beauty too it's also mental mental beauty it's like the positive outlook that counts a great deal more than any actual physical attribute but even with physical attributes the natural um, attributes that a woman has in her gene pool will be all accentuated just by going with general overall health but these several things I mentioned um, well they're good for um, breast enhancement they will work for breast enhancement it's very cheap it's not going to cost you a lot of money. I mean, any woman could afford this. If you could afford to eat food, you just, just substitute some of the foods. Sesame seeds, flax seeds, and soy. Uh, liquor wish could be, it, it could be the um, snack. I mean, it could have some sugar in it. It ain't going to kill you. A little bit of sugar ain't going to kill you. I know it's, sugar's really bad, but God, no, there's no such thing as even the bad stuff. Taking a little bit of it, it's not going to kill you. So that's a good one. Black Cohosh, very cheap herb. Fennel Geek, very cheap herb. This one's I could think is a little bit more money. But, you know, you could skip this one. This is actually a good anti-aging herb, but so is vitamin C. Vitamin C is a big-time anti-aging herb. And uh, also copper. Copper. So you might want to wear a copper bracelet. I mentioned this before in other videos, but I need to actually re-mention them because copper bracelets you know it works against arthritis and sometimes in some cases because they found even in the ancient times that copper um, worked very well for uh, people with rheumatoidism and arthritis and the reason is is because it helps with collagen production especially if you're taking a lot of vitamin C you need a little more copper so sometimes these bracelets and things people wear and they swear like they're wearing they're golfing they don't have the pain in their elbow or whatever the hell it is when they're golfing due to the copper bracelets there actually is a lot of scientific evidence to back that up even going back to the ancient times and just um, 
just another thing. If you look at uh, Queen Cleopatra, Queen Queen of Sheba, they used to use a very finely ground copper paste over their skin to increase co collagen production. But collagen is throughout the body, and also that actually is in the breast. It actually affects, like if you have good collagen production in your body, your breast will stay up better and you'll be fuller and that type of type of thing. So. That's also important to just remember whatever helps with collagen also helps with breast. But those things I mentioned are very good. They are very good. And uh, they're very, very, very inexpensive. But um, I don't know. I mean, to each, whatever person wants to decide, fine. But in my opinion, if somebody has to have huge breasts because they just have to have them, to me, they're a person to be avoided anyway. That's my opinion on it. But I think general health is a very smart thing. And the things I mentioned are the absolute best ways to probably do breast enhancement naturally. Uh, and, th and also through exercise, of course. But that's the cheapest way. And the cheapest way often is the most common sense and best way to go using nature.